Justice for these campaigners has taken more than 40 years to arrive. But now a court in Buenos Aires has sentenced two former executives at the Ford Motor Company to prison for colluding with the military authorities in power from 1976 to 1983. The former manufacturing director Pedro Mula was sentenced to 10 years and security manager Hector Sevilla to 12 years for passing union organizers details to the authorities. Among them was Pedro Troiani, one of 25 union organizers who was then detained and tortured at a clandestine center. They put hoods on us, they took the handcuffs off and tied us with some wire, pushed us to the ground and subjected us to a whole series of torture, including fake executions, they beat us, kicked us, pushed our faces into the ground. Pedro and his colleagues were later released, but say many union organizers from other industries they were imprisoned with were not so fortunate. There are about 30 comrades from another union and only three survived. In our group we were 25 and we all survived. Release from captivity was, however, not the end. After 1977-78, when they let us out, the suffering continued because we now belong to a group of people that no one would employ. We were the lepers of that period. Neither Ford in the United States nor in Argentina has commented on the case. They continue to produce and sell vehicles. But the complainants say they must bear some responsibility for their role during the years of military government. This sign outside the current Ford factory near Buenos Aires, a testimony to their suffering. In Argentina, according to our opinion, for also engage with the military government, authoritarian government, a government who have committed serious crimes against humanity, for the only purpose of obtaining more uh, um, profits from the industry. The accused are old men now. Others allegedly involved have since died. An estimated 30,000 people were kidnapped and killed by the Argentine military authorities in the 1970s and 80s. All the victims are remembered here at this memorial on the banks of the River Plate. The fight for justice in Argentina has been a slow and complicated one, but the persistence of the survivors and the human rights groups that support them is finally, just in time, reaping results. Daniel Schreiner, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.